Chad Bonanno, and uh, part of Eight Minute Kate in Los Angeles, and uh, my side music project. And um, been out for a while. I did a couple of tutorials on Ableton and the MPC, and uh, I'm gearing my tutorials towards live PAs. What I wanted to get right into is um, use the MPC last time in the last videos. <clears throat> And I uh, just connected them with Ableton and, and showed you how I uh, sequence um, using Ableton alongside the MPC. Uh, but what I also wanted to show you this time around is um, the connectivity to any type of workstation. A workstation would be like Korg Triton, um, Phantom, or um, uh, what, a Motif, any of those uh, that can record and sequence. and things like that. What I'm going to talk about is taking the MPC and sending a one MIDI channel out, but we're, we're going to split it into 16 different channels, so you'll be able to um, utilize 16 different patches from the workstation, and um, from there you'll have a lot more versatile um, sounds, and they'll all be coming out of one source. Um, so uh, real quick, I wanted to show you a couple other things. I had my studio um, this Micron here um, by Alessis is pretty cool. Uh, the buttons kind of suck, so I don't talk that great about it. Um, you'll see the Behringer and the Chaos Pad 3. Chaos Pad hadn't really been touched yet. It's given and uh, borrowed from a buddy. Um, there's a Moog uh, behind there. There's a power book. Very nice. Love that thing. And then we have uh, the Roland TD20S drum kit with the module that kicks ass and uh, I'll do a tutorial eventually on using that with the MPC because that thing um, really performs but we're gonna we're gonna get into the the sequencing stuff so our focus is MPC sequencing and this workstation whichever one you have so on my workstation um, so a touch screen but there are these buttons here and there's different modes look at these cords and shit everywhere it's ridiculous all right um so they'll have like a combination mode program mode uses as like a single patch and that's what we'll be dealing with. but we're interested in the sequencing mode where you can go into these certain areas where you can uh, record and overdub and uh, start stop and all that good stuff because these uh, sequencer or workstations typically have timelines and sequencers and stuff so um, instead of using their sequencer we're going to use the the MPCs uh, so anyway I just go into sequencing mode and when I go into that mode look at that I get these channels you can see these numbers up here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten there's even like a mixer so you can have this stuff while you're while you're rocking live shows and stuff you know and be able to mix your sounds and group them and things like that um, but here I can change these different patches so for channel one I would have change over to channel two just this kind of like raindrops is what it's called three another delayed voice synth or something I hate that, but we're going to use it just for the sake of argument. Uh, okay, so what we've done is we have picked our five samples, um, or five different channels. One, the actual uh, sampler um, workstation, one, two, three, four, five. And now we're going to talk to them uh, using Ableton. So let's go uh, check out, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, the MPC. So let's, let's check out the MPC. And I'll show you how to get to those samples. So on the MPC, when you are dealing with your sequences, you're going to have um, this area here. And um, this is usually set for a part. Now I'll come down, <clears throat> down here and under out, part is set to a part that I've created. Basically a part is a program where I have samples like Now, I created these from the uh, from scratch, so I uh, just loaded the samples in individually. But what we're going to do is we're going to change part to out A. Now, out A is MIDI channel 1. So, when I have out 1 selected, 
as an output, it's going to send that information to the, to the workstation. And I also have it coming back in so I can play on the uh, keyboard and record into the MPC. So remember I set up 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 in the workstation. So the, once, once I select out A, so it knows it's talking to the uh, workstation, then when I change this channel here, I'm going to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 from the sequencer. So I'm actually triggering the workstation from the pads. So if I go in and change the channel number to 2, three and four five let me see if I can find something cool it's kind of more percussion like we'll come over to the MPC we'll change this to one and now I have this cool drum kit tons of sounds on the MPC so I can sequence. Do it again. And we'll add a second drum beat. like this. It's mutant tracks. Sample bank I have to worry about. 